Hi, Mr. Unkert here, and we're looking at this problem, uh, and it's a problem a friend asked me about um, as he was studying for the praxis. So the problem is, given the point negative 2, 2 in the regular coordinate system, choose the correct representation of the point in polar coordinates. Now, um, as a pre-calculus teacher, I do a lot where you change uh, rectangular coordinates into polar coordinates, but you use the complex number system. But the way they've written it here, the way they've written your potential answers is you have basically the modulus first, which is the distance from the uh, center of the graph, the origin, um, and then the argument, which is the angle formed. If you're thinking of a regular coordinate system, it's the angle formed um, based off the x-axis. And let's say, say our point, well, we're at negative 2, 2. So our point's going to be out here. So if we draw out the distance, the, the second angle here, it's in radians, is going to be the angle from x out to this. Okay. So um, again, we're at negative 2, 2. So I can draw the point, and I drew it about where it is. Okay. Um, we draw a little triangle here. Um, our reference angle off the x-axis is going to be 45 degrees. And if you want to convert that to radians, you just multiply by pi over 180. So 45 degrees times pi over 180 degrees. is going to work out to pi fourths. Reason being 45 goes into 184 time. Oh, so it's going to be pi fourths. Okay, but that's not the, the angle we're looking for. We're looking for this argument. Um, we're looking for the angle from the x-axis all the way out here, the positive x-axis, okay? Um, <clears throat> so if we think in terms of radians, which are our solutions are in radians. Start with zero radians. The end of quadrant one, we're at pi halves radians. Then we go to pi. And we go to three pi halves. And then we go all the way around, and we're at 2 pi. OK, so, um, so we're pi fourths less than pi. So pi is equal to 4 pi fourths. So we're at 3 pi fourths. OK, so. You may think that our answer is this one, but then we look at it and we go, wait a minute, is this distance, is this distance here, is that eight units? Because I mean, this side's gonna be two units. This side is also gonna be two units. So if we wanna use Pythagorean theorem, we're looking for, we'll call this C, we can make a right triangle here. So we're going to say 2 squared plus 2 squared equals c squared. Uh, so 4 plus 4. So 8 equals c squared. Take the square root of both sides. 
well, we can rewrite 8 as square root of 4 times 2. which that simplifies into two square roots of two. Now, if I'm studying for the practice, and I tell my pre-calc students this, do not forget, not necessarily studying for the practice, but do not forget your 45-45 right triangle which typically the sides are, the way they write it, it's one, one, and then the hypotenuse is square root of two, or square root of two times as long as the other sides. So in this case, if you knew that, you wouldn't have to go through the whole thing. You know that the distance from the center is going to be two square roots of two. So if you know that, we could automatically eliminate um, And so I'm going to use it. We can eliminate, oh no, not that one. Sorry. We can eliminate this one and this one. We want to keep C and D. Started to cross out the wrong one. Um, now, here we have, we have a little problem though, because the angles they give us are negative 3 pi fourths and negative 5 pi fourths. Okay. But one thing that you want to realize is if they're going from the negative angle, they're going this way. We want to look for the angle that goes all the way around to here. Okay, so if we go here all the way from 0 to, let's call this negative pi now, we've gone a negative 4 pi fourths. And then we go another negative pi fourths, we go a full negative 5 pi fourths. So that's where they got a little bit tricky with this one, why it might seem a bit confusing, but the, the angle that they're using is negative five pi fourths, um, which is the same as positive three pi fourths. Okay, C is your solution in this case. Um, if you have any questions, leave comments in the comments below. Otherwise, thank you for watching and have a great day.